Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, we'll see Agaro Regency Air Fryer, which is more than just an air fryer. First, we'll see the product details, followed by demonstration. It comes at a great price for the features you get. So let's get started. Let's first take a look at the Agaro Regency Air Fryer. This is the box before unboxing the air fryer. It comes with many accessories, instruction manual and recipe book that we'll see later. It comes with a good packaging. The first and very important step is to remove all the packaging material. It's an 1800 watt air fryer with a capacity of 12 liters. It has got 360 degree heat circulation technology that helps in perfect cooking. This is a digital display that gets illuminated once we switch on the air fryer. It has got a cool to touch handle. And this is the chamber where all the cooking and air frying happens. Now let's take a look at the accessories and features. It comes with this rotating basket or rotating drum. It can be placed inside the air fryer in the same rotisserie slot and in the same way a rotisserie rod is kept. It comes with a lid on one side. In many air fryer recipes, you need to stop at certain intervals and shake the food. But this drum does the job. So in this rotating basket or drum, whatever snack you are trying to air fry gets rotated evenly and cooked nicely. This is an open air frying basket that this air fryer comes with. All the accessories that come with this air fryer can be easily washed in dishwasher. Hence, these are dishwasher safe. It comes with a detachable handle. The handle can be very easily placed and removed by simply pressing. It also comes with a safety lock so that you do not accidentally press the handle while you are using the basket. Remove the lock, press and remove the handle. It also comes with two mesh racks. If you want to dehydrate something, you cannot stack it one over the other so you cannot use the air fryer basket or rotating basket. Hence, for dehydrating you can use this mesh racks or you can bake your cake by placing the mold on top of this. There can be many uses. This air fryer comes with this drip tray or crumb tray. This would help you clean your air fryer easily. Along with the rotisserie rod and forks, this air fryer also comes with skewers. You can use these skewers to make tikkas. You can place these in the skewer rack that this air fryer comes with or on the mesh racks. Line your mesh rack with an aluminium foil for easy cleaning. Usually a rotisserie rod or shaft comes with two forks. But in this air fryer, you can use these forks in combination with the screws on your rotisserie rod as well as on the skewer rack. Place your vegetables or meat between these two forks and you can use a rotisserie option. If you want to make a lot of tikkas in one go, you can use the skewer rack. Let me show you how you can assemble these. It comes with two wheels and you can see a slot. This is where we will be using the screw from the rotisserie fork. To place these wheels, we need the rotisserie rod and the screws from the rotisserie fork. The skewers will go in the holes and slots given on the wheels. So insert the rotisserie rod like this. Secure with the screws that you would get in the rotisserie fork. Place the wheels on both sides of the rotisserie rod. After preparing your skewers with vegetables or chicken or tikka, any type of tikka, you can place the skewers on these two wheels as shown. Insert in the hole and just press the skewer on the other side and place it. The same way you can remove the skewers once your tikkas are done. If you want to maintain more gap between two skewers, you can remove or skip one skewer. Next you get this handle tool. With this handle tool you can place a rotating basket as well as the skewer rack inside your air fryer. The skewer rack and the rotating basket can be placed and removed very easily with this handle tool. It also comes with these silicon heat resistant mitts. You can use these to remove the mesh racks and handle hot products. These are compact, easy to use and do not occupy a lot of space. The air fryer also comes with a recipe book. It also comes with this instruction manual which has the details of air fryer, its accessories and preset menus. Also some troubleshooting options. This is the power cable. 
and on back side of the air fryer you will see this air vent. It's very important to keep some distance between the vent and your wall. Do not touch this vent while you are using air fryer. Now let's see how you can place these accessories inside the oven. You can simply slide in the drip tray, place the air fryer basket, prepare your recipe and once you are done, use the detachable handle to remove the basket. You can very easily slide in the mesh racks on the slots given on the sides. With the help of handle tool, you can very easily place and remove rotisserie basket, skewer rack and rotisserie fork. This air fryer has got tilt LED digital touchscreen. You can switch on using the power button. On one side, you'll see temperature control, which ranges from 80 degrees Celsius to 220 degrees Celsius. Time control that ranges from 1 to 90 minutes, but at dehydration mode, you get an auto timer of 120 minutes. You get 9 preset recipes for french fries, roast, fish, shrimps, pizza, chicken, baking, rotisserie, and toast. You also get options to preheat, reheat, and defrost. With this button, you can switch on or off the chamber light that is the light inside your air fryer and this is the rotisserie mode. Rotisserie option can also be used in combination with other options for example french fries and rotating basket. Now let's take a look at some demonstration. First I am going to make some french fries. You can use your homemade french fries or you can use frozen. I am using frozen. Add the french fries to your rotating basket. Place the lid. Using the handle tool, place this rotating basket inside your air fryer. Power on the air fryer, use french fries mode, it will automatically set to 200 degrees celsius for 15 minutes. Click on rotisserie so that the rotating drum or rotating basket starts rotating. Wait for 15 minutes as your air fryer says. After that use the handle tool and carefully remove the rotating basket. Open the lid and transfer your french fries to a plate and enjoy with some ketchup. This way you can enjoy your favorite snack made with less oil. You can also dehydrate curry leaves using this air fryer. I am going to use both the mesh baskets. Take some curry leaves, wash them, pat dry using a cloth. Transfer the curry leaves onto your mesh rack. Since curry leaves are very light in weight and further would become lighter upon dehydration, I am going to place another mesh rack on top of this so that the curry leaves after dehydration don't fly or start flying inside the air fryer. You can also follow this tip. Slide in the mesh rack. Switch on the air fryer and select dehydration mode. The default temperature is 30 degrees Celsius which can be adjusted. The auto time is 120 minutes which you cannot change. If you want to further dehydrate, you will have to increase the time once this time is elapsed. Once done, take out the curry leaves, let them cool down and you can store these in an airtight container in your refrigerator. Now let's make some rotisserie chicken. You can further wrap your drip tray with some aluminum foil. It would make it easier for you to clean the drip tray later. Place the marinated chicken inside. Switch on the air fryer and use the rotisserie chicken mode. This rotisserie chicken mode is enabled with the rotisserie option so you don't need to click on the rotisserie option again. I haven't changed the time and temperature. The chicken is getting cooked at the default time and temperature that comes at this rotisserie chicken option. It's been 30 minutes and the chicken is done. The chicken has turned out nice and juicy. I could not see a lot of dripping or wasted of juices inside the air fryer. As you can see there is very less dripping compared to a regular OTG and that results in dry chicken. Aluminium foil makes the cleaning task easier. Now you can simply wash your drip tray and wipe it clean. Here I've got some raw banana slices which I've coated with a little oil, turmeric and salt. Now let's make dehydrated raw banana chips. I've lined both the mesh racks with banana chips or slices of raw banana. Switch on the air fryer, select dehydrate mode. I'm going to change the temperature to 70 degrees Celsius. As I said, the auto timer is 120 minutes, so keep a watch. Once done, take out the dehydrated banana. This way you can enjoy your favorite snack made with very less oil. 
This was all about Agaro Regency Air Fryer. It comes with a lot of great features. You will find its purchase link in video's description box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.